Isla, congratulations. Uh, obviously, a, a bit of a different start than you're used to because a tennis match is more of a marathon. Today was a real sprint. What did you do to get yourself ready for the start today? Oh, I was still definitely ready for the marathon. <laughs> okay. uh, a marathon third set. Uh, I think that's kind of the the mindset you got it like helps me going into that you know not to put pressure that I have to finish it in two games but uh, I really didn't expect to win seven points in a row so I was very happy about that and, and, and how does that change the way you now approach and get ready for your next match um, it doesn't really change anything I, I was just thinking about it now sitting here that this was like a great warm-up you know I played seven points and warmed up 30 minutes before that so I, I was expecting to you know maybe go a little bit fatigued into my second round if I had one, but um, no, this this seems like a pretty good start to my day. Now, now you're relaxed and, and ready to go. Uh, you've got a couple TV things going on. For us, a tennis channel, you're, you're one of the stars of My Tennis Life, and then you're also going to be in the new Netflix series for tennis. Tell me first about My Tennis Life, what that has been like for you filming that. Um, yeah, I just, I love TV. What can I say? Um, ten my tennis club has been really fun. I started last year around May or June, and it's been just cool to try to, you know, show what we do that you know you guys don't see and I don't know I have people sometimes come up to me at tournaments and, and say that they're watching I get so excited because I totally forget that these episodes actually air somewhere <laughs> <laughs> so it's really nice to you know get that feedback and yeah and for Netflix I think um, you know if it's anything like the Formula One um, we'll be happy so I'm excited to see everyone in it what, what what has that process been like having cameras follow you all the time at, at some of these events it's different, but you kind of get used to it. I mean, um, they haven't followed me a ton so far, a little bit, but um, yeah, I had a you know a few losses, and they were there, and I was kind of thinking, oh my gosh, how am I going to be myself in front of camera cameras? But you actually kind of forget they're there when you're in your moment, and I'm pretty emotional, so <laughs> they'll have plenty of footage of well, that. <laughs> Isla, what, what's the most emotional moment you've had so far this year? Oh. <laughs> Well, it's been a little bit of a roller coaster this year, um, but I would say Australia was just tough because it's my favorite swing and, and I was a little bit um, just not physically fit to perform and, and I felt, you know, my game was there. So that just was a little bit hard to swallow. And especially at the beginning of the year, you just want to, you know, go out blasting. So how much of the people that are going to see this Netflix series in a year going to see of off and on the court personal stuff as well as the, the professional on court? Yeah, I mean, I guess it's it's how much you want to show. I'm um, I'm I feel like I'm pretty open in a way that you know, especially the people around me. We don't really hold back much. I'm from a Croatian family, so there's not much filter going on, especially with my dad being around all the time. Um, so yeah, I mean, hopefully I give enough where people you know can see the real me. That, that's fantastic. I love to see that. Is Hannah going to be a, a big star in this as well? <laughs> oh, she will probably like take time off of work just to make to the tournaments where they're filming. <laughs> of course she will. <laughs> and Cruz. <laughs> uh, and Cruz, the dog, of course. Uh, Isla, thank you so much for joining us. We look forward to your next My Tennis Life, and we look forward to your next match later today, and, and hopefully we'll see you back up here. Thank you.